Hi guys, today I will show you on what updates I was working on lately. Uh, mostly it was related to the whole core architecture and uh, my parser implementation level for levels and also imgui wrappers and basically improvements of the pipeline and stuff. Also, I am working on my intro for the like let's say loading screen and uh, yeah so today I will show you how it looks and hope you will enjoy it. For those who didn't know I switched to NeoVim, uh, the IDE or I don't know text editor uh, as you like. Uh, basically I am pretty happy with it. I really love uh, the key bindings and to explore this and learn more how to edit things with my keyboard and no mouse. So, uh, lots of things done, were done, and I will probably start with the engine presentation. And yeah, let's uh, run the script to start the engine. And I also reworked the resizing of window and now you can see uh, the intro i will also probably hide this of course when we will be in the best case scenario when we will be on the startup we don't want to have uh, editor windows but it's not uh, covered yet so basically now you can see my uh, intro uh, I also can show you the shader I wrote, but it's basically playing with the randomness and uh, mm, <laughs> only one sinusoidal that you can see. And also uh, I made a bit mapping for text. Uh, I already mentioned it. And yeah, so this is, this is how it looks now. And uh, I'm super excited. It's absolutely not uh, finished. You can see the um, right now you can see the black uh, square that should have something inside and uh, yeah it, I'm just I'm just playing and, it, and on my free time with the, this like uh, ra random random values and basically the shader is a shit and uh, I'm <laughs> uh, probably not the good example of how you should write a shader but I had so much fun doing this and I really love it, really love it. The, the moment of the, this frame sinking was the most uh, uh, hard and excited for me, exciting for me. Uh, and it's not uh, completely good and you see sometimes that it like gives you three times of this um, frame changes. Never mind, like just interesting, interesting, uh, um, interesting experience so okay let's go back to the editor uh, I will also go back to uh, tell you why I am so excited about the MGUI right now uh, let's just go brief about what we have we have like this tab of editor which contains for now scenes and we can select them uh, they are uh, in, in except of intro which is uh, paste uh, in the CPP file um, like ma manually uh, models and sprites are read from uh, the scene uh, files and here is just a debug debug test uh, tab that i can actually create several of them and uh, pass different inf information for example like fps i provided from the calculation of my scene and they also can have a global uh, elements as you see global button it do nothing now but that was just an example that i can also do this uh, let's just briefly check what i have here we have here like my sprite scene just to test that we can draw simple rectangles uh, with the textures and we have um, our model uh, uh, monkey and uh, I gave uh, return back a grid. Sometimes I have problems with the keys. I mean, not always it is uh, answering as it should. I'm not sure why. Uh, I will take a look at this later. 
Okay, that's all for the presentation and let's go through the code or at least uh, through the features I have now. Uh, I wouldn't like call it features, but uh, let's say we have a folder scene where we have scenes, which are which looks like this. For example, this one is scene for monkey or mod models. Yeah. So here we have a name, we parse this name, we parse the object information about it, uh, shaders, which it has, um, material name, texture and model. Uh, yeah. So also this one is for textures. Here we have no model provided. So uh, basically let's start from the part when you will write me uh, that uh, command why you started to creating your own file format that looks like YAML. I know, and it wasn't a point. I, I, I didn't want to beat any file format. The idea was only to uh, test my skills, to test how better I become in uh, became in C++ and test some modern uh, language features that I am always uh, trying to skip, <laughs> trying to avoid. And for, for, for my purpose, I, I think that I overcame uh, myself. It was much uh, better than I thought I will do. So I'm super happy. We are in scene when we are in initializing it. Uh, we are uh, loading the scenes with the names uh, handled here. Like uh, we, we are calling this load scene. We are loading this file and then we are inside of this loading. Uh, we are tokenizing it. So I have a like pair of uh, my data type is a pair which handles like this. Uh, key and this value, right? So for the like child nodes, it has no value. So it is how I am distinguish them. And uh, yeah, so I'm taking this, I am getting root node. After, after tokenization, I am ready to uh, parse the file. So I am beginning with uh, getting the scene name uh, and, uh, and also uh, while uh, I ha can find the object uh, node, I am gathering the information what I need. So for example, here it is like pretty simple. And if you even didn't provide the, uh, for example, position or something, you will like see the debug output about this, but still it will take the um, default value for that. And yeah, so I'm receiving the texture if I have, uh, I'm receiving the model if I have, um, and uh, gathering the scene map with the uh, by name by its name and uh, the object information that it has. After it's done and the like from in the and the objects from uh, past levels are uh, parsed, we are ready to update the information about this object and pass them to the render key that will be used by let's say Vulkan to uh, upload the, uh, to draw the mesh or like, I don't know, it will be mesh all the time, but I mean to draw complex mesh, like for more, more uh, 3D object or for the uh, just texture to rectangle. Also probably interesting would be to see what I did with the Imgui. It is also questionable implementation because I made a wrapper for, uh, library that shouldn't have such kind of propers, but it was also kind of um, a task that I made up for myself just to uh, again test my sk language skills, try something new. Um, and yeah, so now uh, I created a scheme which allows me to add uh, window to add the top to the window and add elements to the window or to the top and it's basically a containers with um, like one is the um, map for windows that can be in my scene other one is for elements UI elements that are attached to the particular window by the string key and also tabs 
that are attached to the uh, particular window. And interesting part is with the UI elements that uh, like here we have a type that are supported by my engine and the interesting part starts when we are creating this elements chain here i am defining the window and uh, it's the name of this window uh, with the size positions and stuff after this i am defining the tab editor afterwards since i am using this combo element for uh, selecting the level the scene I am gathering the, uh, the names of the scenes to the vector, which I will provide uh, as the part of arguments of the uh, combo element initialization. And also I am defining the uh, rule, the function that should be call call called when the element is selected. Same for separator, just separator and yeah here you see the button this like uh, global button that you saw earlier and uh, it is it is connected not to the tab but to the window so it will be seen in each tab and i think it's really cool uh, also here you see that no uh, function is provided so when you will press nothing will happen also here is the function that is called when the uh, UI is being processed but here I am just getting the element type when I'm calling process UI and uh, checking out what it is and uh, like as I mentioned earlier if it is a button you will just create this button as you will do with normal imgui and after check if a uh, function was provided and if it was provided then you will call it and maybe uh, some experienced programmer would do it differently and I would appreciate any kind of uh, comment regarding this also a few words about the shader i wrote i took the like i wanted to understand how can i uh, decode the uh, text in shader and uh, i met this uh, article resource and it was it, it gave really interesting approach that i was looking for with uh, the uh, you basically uh, encode encode decode, encode the uh, character using bits and then you uh, then you convert it to the hex and it's your basically bit mapped character and like for who wants to uh, check it out you saw the name of it and uh, let's briefly go through the my shader it's nothing we won't stay long for this at, at this because uh, it's shit as i said and uh here is my main function uh and like i tried to separate the <laughs> chaotic code to the with the these comments that could help us to navigate a bit but uh when i was writing it i was really in the kind of flow uh, so writing shaders is a really creative process and no rules exist for me apparently um, and uh, yeah so uh, for example here I, I am creating this random background uh, and here I'm using the same uh the same approach but just making it even more like scaling it uh for these dots on the sides um yeah and uh here i am uh, also writing the text like contracts ai explore my sadness and uh also some other ch checks where it should be written other multiplications and here is the my my approach for frame syncing uh, when I am taking a cosine function I, I have no idea it's here it shouldn't be here um, yeah it should be probably here I'm taking cosine function to uh, let's say somehow navigate with timing when we have to render what so yeah so when we are in this uh, range we are doing this uh, black background with the yellow shapes uh, sinusoida <laughs> and uh, also 
ch getting this text uh, for, for each uh, iteration for each frame and uh, yeah so that's how i am doing this thank you guys for being here i hope you enjoyed today's video um next week we will probably do some streaming again and i also wanted to say a special thanks to uh, my uh, members of my channel i really appreciate uh, your support and uh, he here you can see their names and uh, i hope you will have all a great week and see you next time